Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. The recent report from Iraq, specifically from a source referred to as Firefly, has brought encouraging news regarding the nation's economic reforms. In a televised interview, Prime Minister Sadini provided a comprehensive overview of Iraq's progress emphasizing the resilience and potential of the Iraqi economy amidst ongoing efforts to rebuild infrastructure and stabilize economic conditions. Sardini highlighted that all planned projects are progressing as scheduled, marking a phase of positive momentum and growth for Iraq. This comes at a pivotal juncture as the country continues its recovery from years of conflict and seeks to bolster economic stability. One of the most significant announcements Sardini made during the interview was regarding the Delete the Zeros project to a long-standing initiative aimed at revaluing the Iraqi dinar by removing three zeros from its denomination. The goal is to simplify financial transactions and enhance the currency's value, thereby boosting confidence among domestic and international investors. By reaffirming the government's commitment to advancing this project, Sardini underscored Iraq's determination to overcome previous challenges and delays that have hindered economic reforms in the past. This steadfast commitment has sparked optimism among stakeholders closely monitoring Iraq's economic trajectory. The discussion also shed light on potential shifts in Iraq's exchange rate policy. There is increasing consideration for transitioning from a purely floating exchange rate to adopting a more structured approach, possibly a managed or fixed exchange rate. A fixed exchange rate could provide stability and predictability, making it easier for businesses to plan investments and for the financial sector to function efficiently. Conversely, a floating rate allows the currency's value to fluctuate based on market dynamics potentially offering a more accurate reflection of economic conditions. Frank, an analyst following Iraq's economic developments closely, expressed enthusiasm over Sardini's consistent messaging on economic reforms and the currency revaluation project. He views this continuity as a positive indicator that tangible changes are on the horizon. Furthermore, the proposal of a hybrid exchange rate regime combining aspects of fixed and floating rate ESO adds strategic depth to Iraq's economic strategy. This approach aims to provide initial stability while retaining the flexibility to adjust to changing economic circumstances swiftly. Such strategic deliberations are crucial for Iraq as it aims to stabilize its economy, combat inflation, reduce unemployment, and attract foreign investment. The Delete the Zeros initiative, in particular, holds promise for streamlining financial transactions and enhancing the credibility of Iraq's monetary system, both domestically and internationally. Overall, the report reflects cautious optimism for Iraq's economic future. Sardini's consistent advocacy for economic reforms and the thoughtful consideration of exchange rate policies indicate a government actively engaged in fostering stability and sustainable growth. As these initiatives unfold, international observers and investors will be closely monitoring Iraq's progress, hopeful that these reforms will pave the way for a more prosperous economic landscape. The potential for a revalued and more stable Iraqi dinar represents a significant milestone in Iraq's economic journey, one that could catalyze broader economic transformation and enhance the welfare of its citizens and the region as a whole.